The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store, better brands, bigger savings. Buy, pick, and save, new every day. Buy, freighter the Medical College of Wisconsin Health Network, providing sports medicine expertise to high school athletes and teams. Buy, Robert Hack Diamonds, who do you trust when buying diamonds? Robert Hack Diamonds is the answer. And buy Menards. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs. Hi, welcome to Preps Plus. We're at Franklin High School inside the Sabre Center for the Performing Arts. Hi, I'm Mark Stewart, Prep Editor of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. And I'm Lance Allen from today's TMJ4. Mark may even sing a tune later on, but before we get to that, we will show you several area teams in the football rankings, the JS Online's top team on tap as well. Also ahead, we will meet the top team in Milwaukee City Conference Soccer. We're going to start the show on the court with a volleyball player who's been on a mission since missing last season due to injury. Here's Brad Preter with the Boston Store Featured Student Athlete. Nothing's better than like hitting a ball to the floor, digging a ball up, like it's just the greatest feeling. Caitlin Casca played lots of different sports when she was younger. She says she has no regrets about her decision to focus on volleyball. Starting in sixth grade, like when I was 12 years old and I was the girl like missing school because of volleyball in sixth grade, everyone's like, you're crazy, how can you decide now? But I don't regret it at all. Like, love coming every single day, it's perfect. Caitlin kept coming to the gym here at Franklin last fall, even though she couldn't play. She had to miss her junior season due to a knee injury she suffered during a camp. That makes returning for her senior year even more exciting. It's awesome. I love passing for her. I love playing with her. It's so exciting. There's so much, like, I have so much support in the school. So, so many kids are really happy to see me come back. And obviously, my parents and the team. And it's so fun to be playing. And it was so hard to miss last season, especially because we did so well. But this season's looking promising. Caitlin's success here on the court comes from a whole lot more than just athletic ability. She's a leader who brings a lot of energy to the court, along with a tremendous knowledge of the game. She you know, reads the other side so well that she sees the play interacting and unfolding, and then she just goes at it. Fellow co-captain Sarah Lozanecki has been playing with Caitlin for a long time and sees her command of the court. She can jump, and she's smart. I think she is one of the smartest players. You can always, like, count on her to put the ball down and to place it where it needs to go. Casca is hoping to help the Sabres win the Southeast Conference Championship, which they shared last year. A huge match at Kenosha Tremper looms this week. Caitlin's long-term volleyball future looks good. She's committed to play at Seton Hall in New Jersey next year. Being in the Big East, that's going to be awesome. Get to come home, see Marquette, play at DePaul, see family and stuff. And then 20 minutes from New York, like, that's just going to be great. I love the city and job opportunities. I'm so excited. It may be tough for Caitlin's parents to see her move so far away, but Caitlin says being so into volleyball has helped her and her mom, who also played the sport in college, stay close. That's really the reason me and my mom bond so much. Both love it so much. She was my coach like fifth through eighth grade, so it's really like a connection that we can't have with anything else. We wish Caitlin all the best in her volleyball career, and good luck to her and the Sabres this season. Now here's Colleen Heider from Boston Store doing the honors. Caitlin, on behalf of Boston Store, I am pleased to present you with the Preps Plus Student Athlete of the Week Award. Congratulations. Coming up on Preps Plus, the Menards Game of the Week. Woo! Update your entryway with a new Larson Storm Door from Menards. The Prairie View features a retractable screen and a maintenance-free aluminum frame. Available with brass or nickel hardware and keyed lock. Just $199. Add quality with Chamberlain garage door openers. This half horsepower chain drive includes two three button remotes, a multifunction wall panel, and a wireless keypad. Plus, you can control it with a smartphone and optional MyQ technology accessories. Only $149. Save big money at Menards. We're all different. But if we all stand up as one, no one stands alone. One by one, we can change the world. It's up to you and me. On Monday, October 6th, let's all make it a blue shirt day for World Day of Bullying Prevention. Available exclusively at Boston Store. 
What if you had a serious illness, but you never lost hope? That's how you'll feel at Freighterd and the Medical College of Wisconsin's Health Network. Here, specialized teams of experts focus entirely on you, top to bottom, inside and out, looking at every treatment option involving you in every decision. Our comprehensive academic approach puts you at the center of it all, giving you the hope you need to turn what ifs into what is possible. Welcome back to Franklin High School on Preps Plus, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinels High School Sports Show. This week for our football highlights, we've got two Classic 8 Conference matchups as those teams fight for position in their league. Scott Babbler and April Boblin have all the action in your Preps Plus highlights. Muskego is the class of the Classic 8 this season, but four teams stand just one game back, and two of those will meet on this field tonight. It's Heartland Arrowhead visiting Waukesha West. The Wolverines haven't beaten the Warhawks since 2010, a chance to make this a very happy homecoming weekend. Second quarter, 10-7 West on top, when the Warhawks almost get to this Wolverine punt, but it doesn't matter. Cody Selhausen takes it at the 40 and sprints down the right side. A quick little move at the 10 and he takes it in. Now 14-10 Arrowhead. But the Wolves respond just before half. QB Connor Blunt on the keeper. He reaches for the goal line and gets it. 17-14 Waukesha West at the break. Back come the Warhawks in the third. Selhausen up the gut and he will not be denied. Arrowhead back up four but West has an answer. On a fourth and five, Blunt with a perfect toss to Zach Zimmer. This covers 20 yards, 24-21 Wolverines. Now late in the fourth, under a minute to play, Warhawks on the march. Jack Risch threads the needle to Nick Bastine for a huge first down. The West D holds and forces a 24-yard field goal try by Arrowhead kicker Peyton Peterson, but the kick is just wide and it's time to celebrate in Waukesha. The Wolverines hold on for a 24-21 victory. We made some mistakes, and uh, but we, we, we pulled out, we just grinded, and that's what we preach, keep chipping away, so that's what we did. Tonight it's a classic eight matchup between the Kettle Moraine Lasers and the Catholic Memorial Crusaders. Kettle Moraine is looking to knock out a win against Memorial in order to stay in good playoff position. And Memorial is looking to continue their win streak against KM. With neither team on the board in the first, CMH and KM have back-to-back -back fumbles, but Memorial is able to capitalize on the blunders as Josh Carfanta makes it in for the first points of the game. In the second, it's quarterback Mitch Pfeiffer with the keep as he sails in for six. The six is all they would get with no extra point. CMH would turn an interception into three points with a field goal, pulling the score up 10-6. But before the first half is up, Andrew Trafton finds a hole and he's gone with a 69-yard carry and a TD. Kettle Moraine is up by three at the half. Catholic Memorial would come out of the locker room stronger. Bray's looking to show a little arm tonight as he airs one out to Fletcher Metz, who breaks the tackle and prances into the end zone, a 60-yard TD. Fast forward to the fourth and CMH still has its sights set on the end zone. Bray connects with Max Cooper and now the Crusaders are up 31-19. The scoreboard now reads 31-26, but as time ticks away, Cam forces a fumble with just 39 seconds left. With Pfeiffer scrambling and the clock hitting zeros, he goes to sequin over a massive boo for the win, but the pass is incomplete and Memorial heads into homecoming with the W and their eighth consecutive win over the Lasers. In Tulsa's this was a playoff game for us in that if we didn't win this one, we'd have a tough time making the playoffs. Every week is, is a grind and it's tough and you know, I'm just really proud of how, how our kids play. Homestead High School is traditionally one of the strongest teams in both the North Shore Conference and in the state. And this year is no exception. Here's Brad Preter. He's got highlights from the Homestead-Cedarburg matchup in the Menards Game of the Week. There is no denying Homestead's tradition of dominance in the North Shore Conference, but it wouldn't be a surprise either to see Cedarburg give the Highlanders a very tough game. The Bulldogs have made it tough on Homestead the last couple of times these teams have met. Both teams' fans came decked out in gold, recognizing Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. 
The Highlanders won last season's meeting 35-31, and they get the early lead in this one. Matt Winters takes advantage of a huge hole, sprinting for a 19-yard score. Cedarberg responds in the second quarter. Mike Mohica goes up top, and he'll hit Jonathan Stever, who would have a monster night. 37-yard connection, it's seven apiece. Homestead says, you want to air it out? Let's air it out. Nick Allen firing this way. Nick Zabel hauls it in, and he is gone. 72 yards, Highlanders back on top. Still second quarter, Jack Warshower leads the way with a big block, springing Nick Allen free, 30 yards to the house. Highlanders lead 20 to seven and appear to be pulling away. Leading 20 to 14 now before halftime, the Highlanders look for more, but that's when Jonathan Stever takes over, stepping in front of the receiver for the interception. Two plays later, Stever makes the diving grab for a big gain. Next play, Mike Mohica says, this guy's got the hot hand. With the defensive back right in his face, Stever hauls it in for his third touchdown of the game. 21-20 Bulldogs at the half. The Bulldogs keep moving the ball in the third quarter, and Alex Shabesta punches it in. Now 28-20 Cedarburg. Two second half scoring drives were aided by pass interference penalties on the Highlanders, and both times Alex Shabesta finished the drive. The Bulldogs would score 33 unanswered points. The defense clamped down in the second half. Lucas Rozak leading the charge on the quarterback sack. And then it's Jonathan Stever, another interception to go with his four touchdowns. Cedarburg wins it 40 to 27, the first time in more than a decade that the Bulldogs have knocked off the Highlanders. That was the thing I'm most proud of, that we were down and you know that 27 point, and we've been here before in that situation, and the, and the kids stepped up, and, and uh, it was a consistent play throughout the game. Oh, it's just awesome. It's just, especially for us seniors, to be a part of this, you know, for the first team in 11 years to beat them. It's pretty special for all of us, and we'll remember it for a long time. Need to catch up on any high school football action? You can find summaries of all the big games by going to the Preps Plus website at jsonline.com. As well as all of our game highlights on the Preps Plus YouTube channel. We'll be right back. Timing. Pick and Save knows how important it is. Whether we're flying today's catch in from the coast or stocking produce from a local farm, faster is better. We know how important your time is too. That's why we now promise you a faster and friendlier checkout every trip to our store. Pick and save. New every day. When you're diamond shopping, variety is important. At Robert Hack Diamonds, we'll show you multiple diamonds side by side underneath the microscope and show you what to look for when buying a diamond. GIA graduate gemologists are on staff for expert diamond grading. Robert Hack has affordable prices on all diamonds, including diamonds certified by the GIA. Need a mounting for your diamond? Our selection is huge. Buy your diamonds today at Robert Hack Diamonds or visit roberthackdiamonds.com. Diamonds are a good best friend. We're all different. But if we all stand up as one, no one stands alone. One by one, we can change the world. It's up to you and me. On Monday, October 6th, let's all make it a blue shirt day for World Day of Bullying Prevention. Available exclusively at Boston Store. As a rookie, he was thrust into the role of protecting Aaron Rodgers' blindside, one of the NFL's elite quarterbacks. Packers offensive lineman David Bakhtiari is our guest as Pick and Save presents From Preps to Pros. I have a certain type of work ethic I think not a lot of guys have. Just trying to outwork anyone in my way, I think that's kind of attributed to, to part of my success. While David Bakhtiari earned numerous honors on the football field as a high school senior, that was his first season as a starter at any level. Definitely humbled me and 
made me like realize you know how hard I need to work and that nothing's really given to you and um, both my brothers are really good in high school so it was kind of different you know for having me to take a different route as compared to them. Waiting that long to be a starter inspired Bakhtiari as did the opportunity to prove himself to anyone who doubted him. Big part is people tell me what I can't do because I loved proving people wrong so I had my high school coach told me I could never start on his football team, proved him wrong, and then people told me I wasn't fast enough or big enough, proved them wrong, people said I could never get a scholarship, you know, just all, I just like continuously love proving people wrong. And people tell me it's something I can't do, I'm like, okay, let me try and find a way so I can do it. Last season, Bakhtiari was the only rookie in the NFL to start all 16 games at left tackle. Prior to that, he declared for the NFL draft after three years starting at Colorado where he and a teammate, who now plays the same position for the Patriots, would push each other. Uh, we always had a saying after practice when we'd walk up the hill, um, was, did you always give your all? And then our, always, our answer to it was, you can always give more. Like his work ethic, Bakhtiari considers his very long full name to be unique. My name is, <laughs> it's David Afrazi Abbasad Bakhtiari. So I have quite a big middle name in Persian. Um, I got, my real last name is two names that they split it up and gave us as a middle name and then my other part of my middle name, Afraziab, is my grandfather's name so it's a big old mumble jumbo so I'm pretty sure no one else has it. The Milwaukee Bradley Tech Carmen Co-op is once again showing the city who's the boss in boys soccer. And April Boblin shows us what they're all about in the Robert Hack Diamonds Team of the Week. look familiar if you caught the show last year or if you're part of the Milwaukee City Conference. The Bradley Tech Carmen boys soccer team is at the top and nearly unstoppable once again this year and they're hoping that momentum will help carry them a little bit further than it did last year when they were shut out in regionals by Muskego. Been in that uh, situation already a couple of years and I think at that uh, at, at this time now it's uh, our main objective is to get to that uh, semi-final or the championship game in our bracket. I know it's going to be very, very tough to get out of that bracket, but we want to make it to the last um, game, the championship game. Our goals for this year is uh, to get to regionals. Of course, it uh, comes like city conference, city conference and the city tournament, which we just won. But we want to reach higher goals and setting up uh, an example of going out to the suburbs and showing them what kind of soccer we play. So regionals and even getting to sectionals, that's the goal. The Trojans are looking for their second consecutive city conference title this year. It feels great to be back at the top. It feels great to feel to get that respect from the other teams, knowing when they say, oh, we're facing Tech, that it's going to be a difficult game and that we're always favorites. But we try not to think of that and try to play our best every game. Besides a top spot at the city conference, they also stole the Schistler Williams city tournament title for the third year in a row. Oh, I can't believe it, that this three, three years in a row that we won the city championship and I can't believe this is my last one, but I'm glad that we did it together as a team and that we have a wonderful team this year. We had a couple of years um, back uh, that we had, were runner-ups uh, twice and we were just so close to winning the, the city championship. And then when we had our first one uh, three years ago, it was really nice and of course the uh, to um, uh, repeat was also very nice and of course the repeat is a lot better. Uh, so we're kind of getting used to it so hopefully you know the kids will also get used to it and, and we can um, you know take a couple of more. Congratulations Bradley Tech Carmen Boys Soccer on an outstanding season so far and for being the Robert Hack Diamonds Team of the Week. Like many of our sponsors Menards is proud to present a pair of Preps Plus scholarships each year. And right now we honor the most recent Menards Preps Plus Scholarship winners. Jason, on behalf of Menards, we'd like to present you with a check for the Menards Preps Plus Scholarship Award for 2014. Thank you very much. Thank you. One of the top students in his class, Jason Barant took on a new challenge after being injured in baseball practice. Barant was struck in the face by a line drive while throwing batting practice behind an L screen. He spent a night in the hospital and missed three weeks of school. 
In his engineering class, Jason has worked on a battery-powered L-screen attachment, which would provide more protection to the pitcher. It's going to have a motion sensor that once the ball is, travels through, it's going to come up and it's going to fill in the, the gap on the screen itself. And then after about 10 seconds, it's going to come back down and just be like a regular L-screen. The female winner of the Menards Preps Plus Scholarship has worked to put smiles on the faces of young cancer patients. Emma Paulson recently received her final chemotherapy treatment for leukemia, which she was diagnosed with when she was a sophomore. While fighting the disease, Emma created a foundation to provide gifts to kids being treated at Children's Hospital of Wisconsin. It really brings um, joy to my day when I go in. I go in about once a month to drop off the gift. Um, and I met a lot of kids and families there who um, I still keep in contact with and I know I will for a really long time. Congratulations to Emma and Jason for winning the Menards Preps Plus Scholarships. At Pick and Save, we know timing is everything. The quicker we can get produce to you, the fresher it tastes. Like the premium strawberries we have delivered fresh to our stores each and every day. Doing what matters for your family. Every hour, every minute, every meal. Pick and save. New every day. When you're diamond shopping, variety is important. At Robert Hack Diamonds, we'll show you multiple diamonds side by side underneath the microscope and show you what to look for when buying a diamond. GIA graduate gemologists are on staff for expert diamond grading. Robert Hack has affordable prices on all diamonds, including diamonds certified by the GIA. Need a mounting for your diamond? Our selection is huge. Buy your diamonds today at Robert Hack Diamonds or visit roberthackdiamonds.com. Diamonds are our best friend. What would make your doctor, your everyday doctor, an extraordinary everyday doctor? Well, if they're part of Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin's Health Network, that's exactly what they'd be. Why? Because your doctor would be connected to the region's only academic medical center, and so would you. Renowned specialists, more treatment options only academic medicine can offer. We have over 200 primary care doctors in more than 20 locations, so there's bound to be one close. Call to find the right doctor for you. From picking the perfect color to our outstanding no prep, no prime formula, Menards and Dutch Boy make transforming your world easy. Go Dutch. Dutch Boy Platinum Paint, available at Menards. Low impact training helps minimize the possibility of injury and pain during exercise by reducing stress on the joints. Here to talk about the importance and the benefits of low impact training is Griffin Ewald. Griffin is a physical therapist with the Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin Sports Medicine Center. Griffin, thanks for being with yeah, us. Thanks. First, let's start by talking about what low impact training is. Basically, it's a uh, form of training that focuses on exercises that are um, meant more for uh, reducing the impact on the joints uh, and therefore it's more gentle on the body. And what kinds of techniques do you use? Here we have a, um, the Alter G treadmill which is an anti-gravity treadmill. It uses air to kind of help reduce the stress to the to the joints and, and reduce your body weight as you're running. Um, there's also ellipticals or stationary bikes, those type of things. Are there any particular people who would benefit most from low impact training? Uh, really anyone. Someone who does a lot of training on long distance runners, endurance athletes to reduce the stress to the joints, uh, as well as someone who may be overweight or irregular exercises to slowly build up to be, get ready to do more exercise or someone rehabbing an injury. Okay, Griffin, thank you so much. Yeah. To learn more about the Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin's Sports Medicine Center, visit freighter.com slash sports. Girls Golf Regionals tee off around the area in the coming week. And by the way, local conferences, they held their meets in the past few days. And our Scott Babbler hit the course at the Greater Metro Conference meet for the Preps Plus Spotlight.
It's hard to believe, but the girls' golf season will wrap up in a couple of weeks in Madison at the state finals. This week, the regular season concludes with the conference tournaments. We're here at the Broadlands Golf Club for the Greater Metro Meet as the girls prepare for the postseason. Brookfield Central's Grace Dunn, one of the top players in the state, was the focus, and she did not disappoint. After a brilliant approach on the par 5 16th, Grace calmly rolls in this eagle putt. She fired a season best 4 under 68. One of my goals this year was to break 70 and once I got to 3 under par I really tried not to think about well if I just par out I'll shoot 69 um, and then I got the eagle on 16. Uh, hitting that green was in 2 was huge um, and then making the putt obviously was great. Grace is a special athlete. She's made an impact her freshman year and has gotten better every year. Um, she just sets the tone for the program. Dunn was not the only Lancer to post a personal best today. Freshman Emily Balding shot a sizzling 74, besting her previous low by five shots. My iron shots were great. My putting was decent. My drives were good. It was all really good. Like I woke up this morning, I was like, today's gonna be a good day, and it was. Brookfield East had a solid team showing thanks to shots like this by Nina Galang. The Spartans came in third. Sabrina Schreck led DSHA to a second place finish. She carded a round of 85 for the Dashers. But as expected, Brookfield Central ran away with the Greater Metro team title, winning by a resounding 51 shots. The Lancers head to the postseason with a lot of confidence. The conference tournament is a culmination of the entire season and to have them play so well on the last tournament of the year, it's just, it's amazing to see them all put it together on the same day. We're having a great year, but this is a very special round of golf for them today and I'm very happy for all of them. We've improved a lot since the beginning of the year and we still have time to keep getting lower too. It's great, it's a huge motivator and now we know what we can do. Thanks for joining us this week, and be sure to watch Preps Plus every Sunday night on TMJ4 after the local news. Till then, I'm Mark Stewart. And I'm Lance Allen. Thank you for watching Preps Plus, and thank you to the Franklin Band for serenading us. The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store, better brands, bigger savings. Buy, pick, and save, new every day. Buy, freighter the Medical College of Wisconsin Health Network. Providing sports medicine expertise to high school athletes and teams. Buy Robert Hack Diamonds. Who do you trust when buying diamonds? Robert Hack Diamonds is the answer. And buy Menards. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs.